Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got the Page of Cups in reverse. Your person showing up as the Ten of Pentacles. They're viewing you as the Seven of Wands. We've got the Ten of Swords, and we have the Empress energy. Ooh, okay, so we've got strong Taurus and Libran energy. And we have the Four of Pentacles energy in reverse. Let go, and everything's going to work out. So what I'm seeing here, a lot of my Capricorns, this may be somebody that you met previously and they weren't able to, or they weren't open to love. And it feels like because they were in another connection. So it does feel like this might be somebody you had a flirtation with, maybe back in the day, maybe you, maybe last year, um, you know, maybe even over the holiday season. I don't know what it is, but this person is single. They're now single and they're coming for you, Capricorn. Now, maybe some of you, you haven't even met this person, but I'm picking up on their backstory, which here I'm indicate I'm seeing that there's either been a recent divorce or possibly even the loss of a loved one. Now, the Page of Cups energy in reverse is telling me, though, that, you know, there's somebody here who's not quite ready for intimacy. Um, it can also represent a little bit of dishonesty, but let's see. Why do we have the Page of Cups here, please, for my Capricorns? Sun card, Leo energy, very happy, growth, expansion, moving towards marriage and commitment. So what I'm kind of getting here, some of you, and, and this deck here, the Angel Tarot, the, the Page of Cups is friendship. Some of you, this is a friend of yours, and they could be a widow or a widower. But for others of you, for others of you, um, it could be a friend that wants to be more. And they've had, they've had a crush on you for a while, but whatever it is, this is leading to like some sort of higher level of commitment, marriage, happiness, maybe even having a family together, blending families. Some of you may have children with this person. They're single, 10 of pentacles in reverse. They're single, they're free. Death card in reverse. Some of you, they, they, they have, they've lost a loved one. They could be a widow or wid widow or widower, but I'm also seeing with the death card here in reverse that. Hmm. Some of you, they, they're still grieving. They're still grieving the loss or death, loss of a relationship or a death of a person, it feels like. Let's see. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Some of you, um, yeah, some of you too, they're just getting out of a toxic relationship. I'm just kind of picking up on their baggage. Um, you know, to a degree, we all have some baggage that we bring to relationships, but I also feel like they're not going to see you coming Capricorn, like you're going to take them by complete surprise. And they're seeing you as the best of the best. We see the seven of wands. There may be some challenges here, but they see you as the best of the best. Wow. Wheel of fortune. They see you as like winning the lottery queen of wands energy in reverse. This person though, I kind of get this person has a little bit of a pessimistic view of love and relationships. Because they, they may be thinking that you're only around for a short time or you're only around for a good time. But I don't see that being the case. So that might be what they're not seeing. And it doesn't mean that they're not seeing your worth and your value. I feel like more than anything, because this person's been hurt and been disappointed and they still do need to clear that energy, they might not be looking for something long term when you meet them. No, no, maybe they do just focus really on the physical, but I kind of get this person projects that energy onto you and they're kind of worried that like Capricorn, you have so much to offer. You're in the seven of wands energy. Maybe you've come off a little bit guarded towards this person. So they're starting to worry that maybe you just, you know, maybe it's just a physical thing. Maybe you're not going to stick around. I think I'm picking up more on this person's insecurities. Yeah, because the 10 of swords is like, it feels like they've loved and lost, um, and like they're still kind of dealing with that or that they still carry around some of that baggage. You, yeah, they're protecting themselves. Yeah. And from Empress energy in reverse. Yeah. 
there's still this third party around them. I, I don't think they're dealing with anyone. I think it's a loss of a loved one. Or they've had some like, you know, maybe they were, you know, they were betrayed or something like that. They're still hurt, Capricorn. And so I think that's why they're a little bit nervous or they're not so sure you're going to stick around. But Empress energy is like, okay, hold yourself in high regard. Yeah, see, I think this is leading to marriage, Libra and energy and the world card. See, I think you're going to close out a cycle here. I think you're going to end up marrying this person, the high priestess. Yeah, I, I just feel like there are challenges, Capricorn, and those challenges here are your person letting go of that past baggage. Um, you know, by no means am I saying, you know, get involved in a situation that's rife with challenges and is going to be very difficult. I mean, to a degree, love should be, you know, pretty simple or pretty easy, at least at first. But I, I see that, you know, I feel like there's a lot of potential. I just feel like your person is still mourning the loss of a loved one or they're still mourning the loss of a relationship. They just need to heal and clear that. Let go. Let go. All right. Wow. We get a lot of cards coming through. So we see, yep, you're probably already talking to this person. Things might be moving slow. There's that karmic relationship around them that needs to be let go of. Yeah. See, they're gonna, you two are going to be falling in love, but this karmic relationship, third party energy needs to be released. And, and I'm not getting this person's a player. You know, I just get that they, they've been hurt and they need to do some healing work. And remember Capricorn, it's not your job to heal anyone. You know, but I think just your your presence, your interaction is going to be very healing for them. Yeah, Spirit is saying there is a block or a restraint. Okay, there are some obstacles here for sure. For some of you too, this person may have gotten out of a real abusive situation. Okay, and endings bring new beginnings, but there is growth and change and liberation here. And take a chance. Spirit saying take a chance on this person if you're feeling it. If you're feeling if you're feeling the vibes, because I kind of feel like when you meet this person, you're gonna be a little bit unsure because they're not sure you're gonna stick around or they have these insecurities that are kind of following them around. But spirit saying there's also there's also a lot of potential here. Let's see. Um let's see what they would like you to know. Let's see, what do they want? What do they want my Capricorns to know? What do, what would they like to tell you? What would they like to tell you? Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. See, I think you're you're opening this person up, Capricorn, to love after after a period of like either just being hurt, feeling betrayed, or maybe even like they were shutting down to love. See, you're opening up something in this person that. They haven't felt in a long time. And we see true love. This love is once in a lifetime. Oh, their feelings for you are deep, Capricorn. This person's in love with you. Like I said, that feels like there's a little bit of little bit of drama, a few little road bumps here in the beginning. Um, and rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Yeah. Okay. So I also feel too, like your person, I, I do feel like they might get easily emotionally overwhelmed, but look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. I also think you're making this person realize they're stronger than they realize, or they're, they're getting into a healed state. So again, I'm not recommending Capricorn that you get together with somebody who's like, you know, carrying around a lot of baggage and isn't ready to move forward. But for a lot of you, this, it's been a while for this person, or they do have some baggage that they've brought to the connection. And maybe you've experienced it. And maybe you're a little bit unsure of them because of that. But I'm seeing that spirit saying, you know what, give this, give this a shot. If you're feeling the love, if you also feel it's a true love situation, give it a shot because I do see there's this freedom from whatever this, these has been holding them back. Okay. Yeah. Again, true love coming out twice. Can't beat it. All right. We do see unrequited love. So for some of my Capricorns, if it's too much, if it feels like, yeah, I don't, this is not what I want to deal with, you may be moving on. I mean, we all have the power to say no and to walk away. Yeah, so we see deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. And we see forgiving and learning. Yeah, you might have found out this person isn't quite as healed as you thought they were. Be careful with that. I mean, you make your own decision if you want to put time and effort into this. But as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah. And, and I, I feel a lot of my Capricorns, this is your person's energy. That's where they're moving towards or they're, or they're releasing this. And, and a lot of them have been deceived or disappointed. 
And for those of my Capricorns where you're like, yeah, no, I can't do this. Or that was, you know, that was crazy. Or, you know, that was draining or no, no, I don't want to deal with that spirit saying that, you know, forgive, learn, move on. You know, you will, you will be in some sort of committed relationship here. Karmic justice coming your way if you close out this cycle. But for a lot of you, it's your person closing out a, a healing cycle. And you two moving towards towards each other. Because Spirit's saying, take a, take a chance here for a lot of you. So let me know. Let me know. Obviously, it can go one of two ways, Capricorn. Let me know in the comment section down below how this resonates with you. I love reading your comments. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. If you like the cards I'm using. Or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.